Hey guys, welcome back to 999. Um, so we have discovered door six um, on E-Deck. It looks like the other group, um, who we got here, Santa and Lotus found door one. And upstairs, upstairs or this floor? Uh, this floor. Yeah, this floor, um, I think. We have seven, Ace and Clover went into door three and they're solving that puzzle right now and mm -hmm. trying to see if they can find our missing guy, Snake. Um, so that's where things are right now. Yeah, that was a good song. Um, we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. Yeah. All right, let's see Continue. what they learned about door one. So yeah. now we've located two new doors, the six door and the one door. You know, it is interesting that E-Deck wasn't flooded. Well, uh, yep. we don't really know if all of E-Deck is safe. We only checked the area around the elevator. Yeah, even so, it's still very interesting. I agree. You said the six door was there, right? Yes. Then that means Zero planned all this out. Even the sinking. That would have meant some pretty serious remodeling of the ship's interior. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty mind-blowing when you think about it. Yeah. I wonder how long it took. Yeah, the whole- I can't even imagine Sorry. how much it must have cost. Oh, no, it's okay. She didn't finish reading the line. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I was actually just thinking that, like, this is a huge undertaking to, like, retrofit the ship to do all of this. Yeah, and to what yeah. end? Exactly. Yeah, for us nine people to be on it and-, and go solve some puzzles? Like, what? Like, what is the goal? And, and po but possibly lose our lives doing it? Like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it would have been a ton, uh, that's for sure. While that does go along with what Ace was saying, the most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by some organization with access to a whole lot of cash. Uh, yeah. Yes, it does make sense. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Everyone stops to ponder for um, a moment. <laughs> yeah? Um, I don't think it's a very good idea to stay here. Yeah, you're right. Ace and his team might be back already. Well, June, Junpei, and I should be able to open door one. Huh? You guys leaving me behind? Just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. All right, Lotus. All right, Lotus. <laughs> All right. Folks back. Back into the hospital we go. Yep. Oh. Hey, oh. where the hell did you guys go? Not far. We're exploring. It's okay. Seven. Uh-oh. Hmm. Hello. Um. Hey. What's wrong? What happened? What the hell kind of question is that? What you went through? Did you solve a puzzle? What yeah, happened? Yeah. What happened? Snake was. What? Snake is. Snake is. Dead. Fuck. For real? He died. Oh, good. Good choice. Just as the ninth man did. Fuck. Really? <laughs> is it my turn to read? I can't remember. Uh, yeah. Um, it was as if, it was as if all the air had suddenly been sucked out of the room. Junpei felt his heartbeat quicken, and he realized he was having trouble breathing. He could feel the cold sweat beating on his forehead and neck. June, Santa, and Lotus looked the way he felt. All three were frozen in place, their faces white. Oh my god, that's not true, is it? <sighs> we should make sure. Yeah, right. We should. They nodded to one another and headed for the number uh, number three door. Wait, not that way. What? Why not? They stopped short and turned to look at Seven. He was pointing at the door with no number. What? I stuck a screwdriver in there to keep the door from closing. Oh, anyway. okay, cool. It's not locked, so you can go in that way. I like how he's really smart at using objects and mm -hmm. not... not not brute forcing things, but yeah, he's not necessarily breaking paths, but he's keeping them open and keeping yes. them in mind. Yeah, yeah, he's been doing that consistently. Where is, uh, the shower room, the left side of the hallway. Oh, shit. I put a broom in there too to keep the door open. Yeah, yeah. And that means we can get in without going through the numbered door, right? Yeah, that's right. Then let's go. Their new destination clear. Junpei and his companions headed for the, the door with no number. Once in the hallway, it was easy to spot the metal door on the left wall. This wasn't open when we passed here before. But now, just as Seven had said, there was a broom stuck between the door and the frame, keeping it open. Well, let's keep going. Okay. They looked at it for a moment, then stepped inside. Oh, it smells horrible. Lotus wrinkled her nose and covered her mouth in disgust. Even Santa pinched his nose shut. 
Ugh, yeah. This is pretty awful. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, God. It was just as bad as they said. Perhaps worse. A hideous smell filled the air so thick they could almost taste it. It was sour and smelled of fish, feces, and burnt meat. It worked its way through Junpei's nose and down his throat uh, to pound against the entrance of his stomach. Uh, ooh. He put his hands over his mouth and struggled to keep what little was in his stomach where it belonged. Oh, hmm. Where is he? Where's Snake? Oof. They didn't have to wonder where the body was. There. There was blood everywhere, a few a few arms of, of the splatter reaching toward them as they walked through the room. Oh, through the door. Um, all one had to do was follow the many radical arms of their sor- to their source. Radial. Radial, sorry. Uh, radical. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, the body itself was hidden under a divider. June, you should stay here. But- Please, just do me a favor, okay? He didn't give her a chance to say no. He's, he put his hand on her shoulder as if, as if to shove her to the ground like a, te- a tent pole, turned, and walked towards the end of the divider. I'm going in. Okay. Oh, I like how you turned the novel section on for this, <laughs> you know? It felt like it took an eternity for him to get there. Mm. Uh. Santa and Lotus followed, timid and nervous as a pair of children. Eventually, they reached the divider. They looked at one another and nodded slowly. Junpei put his hand on the divider and peered around the corner. Ugh. For a moment, he forgot to breathe. He felt his heart collapse in his chest like an empty cigarette carton, and time froze. He knew that in that instant, uh, he would take the image before him to the grave. Ugh. What was left of the body sat in a sea of blood. Chunks of flesh torn from the body sat in the blood like tiny islands of Great Red Sea. Do we want to read this? I don't know. It's part I know of the it's game. part of the game. Yeah. I know it's how you read it. Like, this is how it was last time. Yeah, this is the or game. Last time I know. It. It. Yeah. Um, a vast ragged hole had been torn into the torso, and what remained of his intestines spilled out like fresh spaghetti. Oh, God. <laughs> chunks of uh, smaller chunks of meat had splattered against the wall and become stuck there as they dried. Globules of yellowish flat fat had left trails like tiny slugs as gravity pulled them down the wall even as they dried to it. Do you want me to read it? <laughs> it's okay, I can read it. Okay. <laughs> Just like he said. Uh, Santa's voice strain- was strained. Junpei suspected he was holding down some vomit of his own. Just like the ninth man, the detonator in his bracelet set off the bomb in yeah, his Yeah, how'd the fucking bomb go off? Unless he went through the door. Unless he- yeah. Maybe, maybe he, he went through the door. Maybe he through the door. <gasps> Oh God, that's possible. I don't yeah, know. I mean, there's a lot of there's yeah a lot of ways because it, this clearly, if they're saying it's just like the ninth man, then clearly his bomb went off. Yeah, yeah, it looked as though the explosion had been quite powerful. Oh God, the the bone is coming out of his left arm. It's definitely an open. Well, fracture. hold on, time out. Um, wasn't his left arm the one that was not a real arm? Was that his prosthetic arm? We know that one of Snake's arms is prosthetic. Okay, I thought she said it was his left it arm. It may have been his left arm. But well, that would seem to be a contradiction if exactly. that's true. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. only why I brought it up. But maybe yeah. not. Um, uh, his legs were both bent in odd, un- in an odd, unnatural way, and his left arm had been split open, exposing the painfully white bone of his ulna. His bracelet lay next to him. It seemed to have hit the wall hard enough to have shattered the display, which lay on the ground in pieces. Oh, the face. It's horrible. Yeah, you can't even tell who it is. Ugh. Half of his head had simply collapsed. Ugh. Ugh. The blood coating almost ev- uh, the blood coating almost made it look like a raw pizza dough covered in tomato sauce. I Ugh. don't like it. I don't Bad. like it. Um, his clothes too were covered in blood. Maybe we should put a warning on this episode that it's got like descriptions of gore. I don't know, but I mean it's part of the game. Um, the burgundy tie, the white shirt, the jacket with the yellow piping, and the gray slacks. <sighs> But the clothes are... They were all familiar to Junpei. No mistake about it. It's mm. Snake. Lotus's voice was unnaturally deep and strained, and Junpei heard it catch in her throat. It's definitely him. And he blew up. Oh, God. 
Wow, well, so that's like when you play, like the original version of the game is just all that. Oh, man. Um, it would have been like that when the ninth man when died. When the ninth too, man died, yeah. too. Yeah. Um, the squeal of tortured metal made Junpei's teeth curl. I can swap it back. Okay, yeah, if you want to. Um, oh, okay, that's fine, too. Ooh, Clover. I mean, she was right. Snake was probably murdered. Something happened to him. She and suspected something was wrong and that something bad happened to him, and yes. That also just means Snake's gone. Snake's just fucking gone. She's yeah. gone. Yeah. Jesus. And Seven's right. Someone murdered him. Someone pushed There's him in only, there. I mean, that's the only explanation. Yeah. Because he couldn't have opened the door on his own. No. Chances are he was killed the same way the Ninth Man was. It's pretty straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. Hmm. First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open door three. Then they shoved him into it. Alone. And waited nine seconds for the door to shut. Once that door shut, it was all over for Snake. But he didn't give up. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good, but he probably ran into the shower room looking for the dead. It was a small chance, but it wasn't like he had anything to lose. Unfortunately, it didn't work. The detonator is only deactivated if everybody who authenticated when they went in uses the dead. Mm -hmm. Snake was the only one who went through the door. And then, 81 seconds after he was shoved in, that. So, happened. wait, okay. But yeah. There was enough time for him to write LR on the wall, so. Is that what he wrote? LR? There was an LR. I see. So that's what you meant by killers. So it huh. needs. You need sorry. at least three people to open one of the numbers. That's numbered literally doors, what I was going to say. Including yeah. Yeah. Snake. So we need to. So this. So now it's not just one person, it's two. It's two people. Yeah. And we could probably kind of. We could get some suspects here because we know we have Snake's number. And yeah. Oh shit. Okay. It wouldn't open for Snake and a single killer. Yeah. That means we're looking at multiple perps here. Well, just in case, I want to make sure. Let's say you're right. When do you think Snake was killed? When we all split up to look for the parts for the Reds, I think. Right after that was when we noticed he was gone. Then that means none of us have alibis. Mm -hmm. We were all off searching the rooms we'd been assigned, looking for those parts. Yeah. That means anybody could be a mm -hmm. killer. W wait a minute. What are you talking about? How can you say that so casually? You're implying that one of us is a killer. Well, not two just of one. You guys. If I'm right, then at least two of us are murderers. And all... Why don't you calm down a bit, Seven? <laughs> all we can really account for is ourselves. Mm -hmm. Like, that's it. We... Well, yeah, I mean, even then, we don't actually know what Junpei got up to, but we can pretty much account for Junpei. Yeah. Um, that's actually true. Like, as the viewer, we can't quite account for him, but... Yeah. Yeah. So... So Snake was two, obviously. Yes. Um, and it, it would have to be 12. There's no way you could get to... Um, you can't get to 21, so... Sure. That's that right. People, yeah. So. Um, so if Snake was two, um... It can't be Lotus. It can't be Lotus. It Let's can't see. be... Let's wait, see, we have, to, we have to get 12, so it's two, seven, uh, nine, nine, twelve. No, who, was no, who was number yeah. three? Um, That's Santa. It could be seven Santa. and Santa. I was gonna say seven and Santa. Or, um, uh, who else? Um, who's, f we're five, and we know it's not us, as far as we can tell. Yeah, it would have to be seven and Santa, though, yeah. because otherwise it would be June and June Pay. Right. Yeah. And it, as far as we know, it wasn't us. Yeah. Shit. Okay. What are you going to gain by being so suspicious? That's what Zero wants, That's you know? That's also a suspicious what? thing to say, Zero but, wants? okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. This game was set up by Zero, yeah, wasn't it? Any game has a winner and loser. As far as we can tell, Ace couldn't have been one of the ones to open the door, though, because he his number can't... No, because him, it, him he and Snake have, can't it, it would have to... been him and the Ninth Man to make that happen. Mm, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, because you need ten and the two. And, yep. Okay. Huh. Wait, no, it wouldn't have been June and Junpei. That wouldn't work. Wait, that because that's five and six. It would have to be and June Clover. and Clover. June and Clover. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So it's June and Clover, or it's Seven and Santa. Okay. 
I think that's the only. Whoa, difference. that would be weird if it were June and Clover. Um, I agree, but but it's it's good to know the number combinations just as you're going through. Yes, it. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Whoever makes it through door nine is a winner. Zero is trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. Then you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other? Seems yes. Logical. That is why we can't let ourselves fall prey to suspicion. We have to trust one another and form a strong bond. But y'all, we can't do that because two of us definitely killed a man. Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe not definitely. Otherwise, we'll end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations. I don't think there's such thing as definitely in no. any of this, but no. it sure does look like it. Yeah. It feels like two of us have just killed a man. Um. Then does that mean that the person who killed Snake... Yes. Almost certainly Zero himself. If there's anyone we should doubt, it should be oh, Zero. Oh, that's a fair point. He masterminded this game and kidnapped all of us. Like, Zero could potentially be a rogue element here. Like, Yeah, Zero could just play the system. He could just do whatever he yeah. fucking wants. We don't know but, what Zero is. We don't know where Zero is. We yeah. don't know how Zero is, it, like, sincerely. Totally. Yeah. yeah. So. But it seemed that he was a... a from what we had said before, that Zero wants to is ad adhering to his own rules. So far as we know. Yeah. And but if if he killed Snake here, then all bets are off. Exactly. Like, like suddenly there are no rules. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Except for the ones we have to follow. Right. So. Right. Doesn't it seem reasonable that he would have killed Snake as well? Hmm. Good question. If Zero killed Snake, then Zero is on the ship with us. Also, point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, was Zero still on the ship with them? Um, Junpei wasn't sure, of course. Oh, we just decide for Junpei here? Um, I mean, we're still not sure of it, though. You know what make, you know what kind of makes me think of that, though? Is that, um, our conversation with Lotus, like, about, about being separated by, like, the main body, and, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. Um, ah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, then yeah. Junpei wasn't sure? I don't know if he's sure. Yeah. Uh, something's still strange. Hmm? What was that? Well, I'm just wondering about one thing. And what's that? How can you be so sure that Zero's on this ship? Really, Junpei? I confess I'm a little disappointed. Usually, you're rather sharp. Okay. Sorry, Elsa. <laughs> was I Isn't wrong? Isn't that obvious? <laughs> Wait, it is? This ship. Huh? Zero said... This ship several oh, times when he addressed yeah. us. Ooh, okay. Yep. If he weren't here, he wouldn't say this ship. He'd be saying something like that ship or the ship. Oh. Yeah, I, I guess I that guess? makes sense. I don't... If Zero's on the ship, where is he? I don't know if I like that logic, but... It's it's logic. That doesn't mean it's, f like, flawless. Yeah, but, like, I, I, I can see his point. I see his train of thought yeah. here, but... Uh, okay, fine. All right. I think... I think Zero is one of us. Uh, really? <laughs> Looking around at everybody. Yeah. Um, was he one of them? Uh, hmm. Well, that's possible. That's crazy. Well, he ad I was gonna say, he addressed us all, like, yeah. at the beginning, but it could have been pre-recorded. Snake mentioned that it probably was pre-recorded. Yes. Or at least, because the whole process is automated, we can't rule out that it's pre-recorded. Right, right. And that... Like there, like a timer was set somewhere. He pressed go. Yeah. And alternatively, like, let it go. Zero could be sitting in some sort of like security room watching. watching. All of, yeah. Like yeah. I, I I feel like hmm, well that's possible is correct because we can't rule it out. But also, it would put Zero in a much trickier position. It's true. Than if they were just watching. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, also, it would mean that Zero is one of our cast, which you know. It, yeah, <laughs> which doesn't seem to be implied here, but again, 
anything's sort of possible here. Want me to um, say, well, that's possible to see how they respond? Uh, yeah, I think so. It could have Lotus May cut in being like, that's stupid, Junpei. But like, <laughs> like, like Ace did yeah, last but, time. Yeah, let's do it. Um, yeah, we can't rule out anything, yeah. honestly. Hmm. Well, that's possible. Huh? Like Clover said, Zero might be one of us. What are you saying, Jumpy? Didn't you hear what Ace said? Exactly. I said we shouldn't suspect one another for no reason. No reason. I've got a great reason. <laughs> and what's that? The bracelets. Why are the bombs in our bodies connected to the bracelets? You're all thinking Zero's hiding somewhere watching us, right? If he's doing that, then he could just detonate the bombs by remote control if someone did something they weren't supposed to. It would be a lot more precise and a lot easier. But if that's the case, then why is the bomb set off by the detonator in the bracelet? Wait, what? What? It's to, back to what Snake was saying. Huh. It's all automated. Why yeah. is it all automated? Yeah. It'd be so much easier to run it like an escape the room puzzle where right. like, you have somebody in the back being like, Watching. let's press a button and yeah. open the thing. I'm not done. Try applying the same ideas to the nonary game. All of the puzzles here run all right. by themselves. In other words, Zero doesn't have to be controlling them for the game right. to move right. forward. Why is that? Why would Zero bother to do something like that? So let's say you and Clover are right. Zero's one of us. If that's the case, then it'd be really hard for him to keep track of all of us or control anything remotely. Yeah, but Which is also that's true. true. But that means that he can be in with us as like, as a means to like progress us in a certain way. Yeah. Or, like, move things in a certain way. I mean, if it's ex an yeah. experiment, that's a bad idea because yeah. they're, then they're, well, they're uh, he influencing the course of the exactly. experiment, but. He didn't say that this was an experiment though. He said oh, it was a game. No, 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 Zero yeah. has never had that. But but because that was brought up earlier from, um, was that Lotus? Who said it was an experiment? One of them said this seems more like a psychological experiment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but one of but this seems that. to rule that out, saying right. that like, nah, if, if the, the coordinator is one of the test subjects, then you have to throw out the results. Right, so, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Weird. That's why all the puzzles run by themselves. That's what you're getting at, right? Yeah. Seven, when we were talking earlier, you said any one of us could be Snake's killer, right? Yeah, something like that. All right, then. I've got a question for you, Ace. You said something like Zero must be the one who killed Snake, right? Yes, something like that. I can't think of any other explanation. So what do we get if we combine those? Hm. They fit together pretty well, I think. Something like this. Whoever killed Snake is Zero. Hence, Zero is one of us. Seven and Ace's theories aren't mutually exclusive. They actually complement each other pretty well. At least they do if Zero right. is one of us. What were his motives? His motives? Yes, isn't that pretty important? Why would Zero want to hide as one of us? Oh, well, that's because... Mm -hmm. um, mm. I yeah. don't know. Well, so much for making a persuasive argument. He's doing pretty well he up got, to that point. He got pretty far. Yeah. yeah. And his points are valid, but but it is a question. What, I mean, this is the big overarching question. What the fuck does? What is this? Yeah. What's what, the nonary game? What's the point of what this? What does Zero want? What does he yeah. have to gain? Yeah. In other words, you only had circumstantial right. evidence. Right. All I was gonna say was, even from the beginning, like we still like. It was a question of what's the point of this. Yeah. Yeah. So. I don't really think that's enough to go on. Regardless of whether one of us is zero or not. Exactly. Um, I, I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Which I definitely, by the way, don't think Junpei has proven. No, he certainly hasn't. He just sort of is, is making it's possible. Yeah, he said it's possible, and he's making observations. Yeah. and that's sort of what I had said whenever we gave, whenever we selected those options, was we can't rule anything out, mm -hmm. and I think it's totally fair to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh God. Shit. What time is it? Two. Three. 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 It's three in the morning. Oh. oh, we have two more hours? That means we have three hours Oh, left. three more hours. Okay. Then we need to move All now. Right, six o'clock. Yeah. Seven, Clover, Junpei, I know how you feel, but you do understand that right now it's important we trust one another, don't you? You're right, but 
We must go. We have very little time left. Our next destination is Mercury. Okay. Whew. Maybe you and June should check it out first and then report back to us. All right. Let's go, June. Right. Okay. okay. Why, Lotus? Yeah. Lotus? Why, why just... I'm not opposed, the but Mercury why? card reader. When do we get the We're Mercury card? We're using the card 7 gave us, right? Oh, that's whenever they yeah. came out of door three. door 3. That's yeah. why they went in door 3. They had to. Yes. Yeah. I found it when we were checking out the shower room. Yeah, you can't just not do a puzzle room. Right. I think Even Seven said something like that. Anyway, let's see what happens. I guess the elevator works now. Jumpy, I know it's only the two of us, but let's do our best. Okay. What's with you all of a sudden? Well, I'm happy we were put together. Uh, you know it's just for searching E-Deck, right? Even so, I'm glad I'm with you. Okay, oh. June. Oh. First, we need to find out if the elevator comes up full of water. Just like we did before. Okay, that was an interesting comment, June. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to show off June's blushy spray. Yeah. <laughs> no water. Uh, no water, okay. All right. It's safe. Oh, here it is. I knew it. It's not wet at all. Let's go. Okay. Yes. Oh, we're going down. Look! Nearly all of the buttons are destroyed. Oh. Yeah, only the C and bottom button can be pushed. Okay. Bottom. We're bottom. on C deck right now, so the only one we can choose is bottom. Yeah. Well, let's try it out. Whoa, what the fuck's bottom? We haven't been there before. Okay. I guess we're going that down. That must have been the button below. E yeah, deck. it looked yeah. like there were two it's, words. Yeah, it did look like two words. Um, which oh. is weird. So this is the bottom oh, deck. Oh, bottom deck. That's probably right. what it said. Over there. Yeah. And the two door. And the two door. This is a numbered door. So there's three doors now. Shit. So we've this got. This is the eighth one we found. Oof. There were two numbered doors yep. on B deck near the central staircase. They were doors four and five. Yep. Three more in the large hospital room. Doors three, seven, and eight. Yep. And the door we found on E deck, and the door Lotus and Santa found on A deck. Six it and one. It was a six on the door on E deck, and a one on the door on A deck. Yep. That means... Do you think the next door we find? Yeah, I think so. The next one's gonna be door nine. Finally! Yeah. You don't look very happy about it, though. It's not that. I just hope nothing goes wrong. You're right. We should keep our fingers crossed. Let's head back. <sighs> okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right, seven pieces. Just double checking, but everyone wrote their code name and a door number they want, right? Oh, is this how we're doing it? <laughs> this is how we're doing it. <laughs> yes, just like you told us earlier. Can't believe we're voting here. We need to make the whole thing fair, blah de blah. This is a complicated plan, you know. Hurry it up, Mr. I have a brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah, quiet in the peanut gallery. <laughs> All right, let's open these up. Okay. Oh, is this... The first one says, Ace requests door one. Okay. Yes, I do. Would you like me to explain why? No. No, we don't have time <laughs> for that. So, let's keep going. <laughs> no, my, shut up, old man. My name is Ace. Is I am number one. I would like door one six. door. <laughs> yeah, that's what I wrote. Clover wants one, Lotus wants two, and Seven also wants two. Wait a minute. Uh, there is no way I'm going anywhere with the elephant man. What? Why are you two so rude yeah, to each other? Why? What have you done to earn it? No, there'd be no point to the voting if we let people change their choices because of stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. No. Just give it up, Lotus. It's not like I want to hang out with some exhibitionist grandma. Oh my god. I'm not an exhibitionist. I'm wearing clothes. <laughs> Barely. So, last I checked, that's not a crime. I like how that's it so far. <laughs> I hope we go through this whole game. I can't remember if I said this already on recording. You want to go through the yeah. whole game with no explanation? No explanation outfit. for our outfit. Just like we get to the end, that's it. Yeah. Nothing. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, oh, all right. Maybe. But what about common decency? Nobody wants to have to look at a chick who looks like a half-naked razor. Oh my god! Oh, I'm gonna kill you! She looks amazing! She Shut does up! look amazing! <laughs> oh, good. Oh, okay. boy. There they go. Are they fighting? Oh, my god. Oh, not good. Oh, <laughs> oh not good. <laughs> <laughs> Let go! Let go of me! I'm killing him! Oh, my god. Junpei, read the rest. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> oh June wants door six. Yes. I don't really have a reason. I just felt well, like you're number six. Well, you're number six, yeah. Yeah. So 
this was everyone's vote. Okay. Oh, wait. Ace and Clover requested door one. Okay. Seven and Lotus requested door two. Santa and June requested door six. Then the door I should choose is... Okay, the last one is mine. I want to go through... Oh. Oh. Um... I don't know. So we have Ace and Clover, we have uh, Santa and June, and we have um, Seven and Lotus. Hmm. And I think I told you before this episode started, the first playthrough I ever did, I did I've did. i done all the same choices up to this point. Yep. I went with Seven and Lotus. Okay. Um, Interesting. I'm not advocating that or saying don't do that. I'm more just giving information. Okay. Um, but those are three really interesting ones. One has a group of completely new people, which yeah. is June and Santa, June which and is Santa. nice. One has Ace, who we've not been with. No. Nope. And it has Clover, who's like in an interesting position. Um, yeah. And one has has Lotus and Seven, so. Well, we were talking about how we really know nothing, one, we know nothing about Santa, and we have had only like really peripheral interactions with June. I'd be fine with um, doing that. I would be curious to do that. Funnily enough, my first, before you had said that you did um, Seven and Lotus, I was actually gonna say, oh, Seven and Lotus, that could be interesting too. But I don't think I wanna do that. I think I wanna get info on Santa in June. But part of me also wants to follow up with Clover, so I'm not, I'm not sure. I and know then we, we always do this, but do you want to decide next time? <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is sort of the pattern now. Yeah. It's how it keeps timing out. Yep, it's true. Um, yeah, let's decide next time which uh, group we'll go with. All right, sounds good. See you, folks. Bye, guys.